One day, while going about our business in Megaton, we pick up a new transmission on our Pip-Boy. This new signal is called Werner's Distress Signal. To anyone who can hear me, my name is Werner. I come from a settlement to the north. I have information of great value to anyone willing to help me free my people. Please, help us. This message repeats. Tracing the source of the transmission points to an unmarked spot on the map just northwest of MDPL-21 Power Station, right on the northern edge of the map. As we get close, we see a radio tower off in the distance. This must be what Werner used to send his signal. And cresting a hill, we find completely new enemies called Pit Raiders attacking a man named Werner. <laughs> After we intervene, Werner addresses us. Thank you for your help with those guys. They finally tracked me down. I thought I'd have more time. You've come about the broadcast, right? Risky, I know. But it had to be done. So you know who I am. Who are you? I came because of the radio message. What's the problem? Well now, a hero. Look at you. Oh, is that mockery I detect in your voice? Hey, I'm a better fighter than you, that's who. Can't you handle a couple of raiders? Yeah, whatever. I didn't come to DC to swap insults with wasters. You want to flap gums, fine, but don't waste my time. Now, you came about the broadcast. You want to hear what I have to say about the pit or not? What? It's not my fault you can't shoot straight. You're a real joker, aren't you? Whatever. Shut up and listen. I come from a place far to the northwest. It's called the pit. It's... Well, let's be honest. The place is a nightmare. Radiation, mutation, disease. But the worst of it, my people, some of the only survivors, are slaves. No big deal, you're thinking? It's a rough world, but I have a chance to free them. All I need is an outsider's help before that chance is gone. What's wrong with your people? To put it simply, we're slaves. We're some of the only healthy survivors, but we're forced to work like animals. Oh, did you escape or something? Yeah, that's why these guys were after me. As long as I know about the cure, I'm a threat. So I ran. If your people need you, what are you doing here? I'm on the run from our dead friends over there. As soon as I found out about the cure, they came after me. And you can be damn sure they won't be the only ones. Whoa, wait, slow down. A cure? A cure for what? The pit's a mess. Nearly everyone who lives there is either sick, dying, or worse. Oh, does this mean you're sick? Ah, get away! It's not like that. You can't catch it from me. The pit, it gets to you. It's the water and the air. You can't escape it. You stay there a few years, and no matter what, it'll get to you. But the bastards who have my people, they've found a way to fight it off. And once they have it perfected, we don't stand a chance. So, I need you to come with me and help me get the cure. With it, we can turn the tables on them. Once we control the cure, Asher will have no choice but to free the slaves. All right, say I help you. What's your ultimate goal here? The city is controlled by a man named Asher. He's powerful. No one there dares go against him. No one except me. I need you to sneak into the pit and find a way to get close enough to him to steal the cure. Nothing to it, right? Uh, I'm kind of busy. Why can't you do it? They know that I know about the cure. All of them will be looking for me by now. That's why those guys came all the way here. I came here because I needed an outsider. Someone like you who has the strength to pull off what I need. What is it I'm trying to get? It's the key to a cure for the mutations. Everyone in the pit is mutated in some way. Some are just sick. Some are... worse. The bosses have the key to the cure. With it, we can take control of the city and free my people. All right. Well, what is it you need me to do first? Well, you might try a disguise. They probably won't let some random armed waster pass the gates. But if you look like one of the working stiffs, you should be able to slip in with no problem. Lucky for us, a group of slavers is nearby waiting to make a sale. You should be able to get one off of them. They're off to the west, near the tunnel that leads to the pit. That should be our first move. Now we can choose to get a disguise as he suggests, or we can say, I don't need a disguise, I'll find my own way in. Huh. Well... That's not the best idea, but at this point I'm pretty much out of options, so if that's how it has to be. Choosing this option means we have a lot more fighting ahead of us, but we ultimately get the same result. Instead, we can say, disguise or not, I should rescue those slaves. Whatever, just get the outfit off of one of them while you're playing hero. 
Hmm, this guy is just dripping with compassion. Yeah, a disguise is a good idea. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, you go get the outfit. I'll stay here and meet up with you when it's done. I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You go get whatever you'll need for the trip. You won't be coming back here for a while, so keep that in mind. Before we go off to help free these slaves, we can ask Werner more about the pit. I'm going to stay here and prepare. If they already found me, they'll be back again. Who's in charge of the pit? He's a guy named Asher. I don't know where he came from, but he's strong enough that he keeps all the other bosses in line. Asher keeps them from killing each other and keeps them forcing us to work. Is there anyone helping you free your people? Medea. She's another slave like me. She's helping to organize them. She'll know when it's time. Where do your people come from? Some of us are native to the pit. Most of us are, really. People sometimes have kids before the sickness takes them. But the need for slaves has gotten bigger. Asher started importing them. Ever wonder why there are so many slavers, but you hardly see any slaves? The slaver operation in this area has been supplying the pit. How did the city get started? After the war, the place just turns into a shithole. The buildings start falling over, and the sickness makes people just turn on each other. Some of them change. They lose any sense of who they are. They just go around killing and fucking and eating, like animals, man. Some people are still okay, but just... I don't know. Anyway, about 30 years ago, those Brotherhood guys come in and wipe the place out. They kill all of these sick fucks. Anything that looks like it's gonna fight, bam! Then they take whatever they were looking for and leave. Oh, tell me about what the Brotherhood did. Well, as bad as the pit is, it used to be worse. Much worse. It was complete chaos. Every man for himself. About the time I was born, those Brotherhood guys swept through the place, killed anything that put up a fight. More than half the place was dead by the time they were done. It was a slaughter. But they got the worst of the worst. If it weren't for the Brotherhood sweep in the place, I doubt if Asher would have been able to get control of as much as he has. What happens to people who get sick? It's hard to describe. It's nasty. And it affects everyone a little differently. But the longer you're there, the more it gets you. Some just get sick and die. Others go crazy, completely psycho. They live out in the city. We call them wild men. And the worst, well, just hope you never have to see them. They turn into animals. They forget who they are. They just eat, sleep, fuck, and kill. But this cure, maybe it can stop all that. Who all lives there? The city is built on the backs of slaves. My people were diseased and suffering. They've restarted the steel mills there. They have us breaking down metal and reforging it. No one knows why. But the guy in charge, Asher... You can damn well bet your life that he has a plan. Well, we've gotten a lot of information from this guy, and I'm feeling a little conflicted. We know that these pit slavers mean real business. We recently discovered the ruins of Rockopolis, where we learned that the entire kingdom's inhabitants were kidnapped by Paradise Falls slavers and sold to raiders from the pit. And here we find pit slavers operating in the capital wastelands. Seems like they're trying to move on in. Well, we need to put a stop to this. The raider camp where we find the imprisoned slaves is just west of this location. As we get close, we see ramshackle shacks set up with a bunch of slavers milling about outside. They're not hostile, so we don't have to kill them if we don't want to. Instead, we can walk on up and talk with them. As we get close to the slave pen, we see one raider taunting the slaves by banging on the gate with a pipe. Are you from the pit? I thought you were supposed to be a guy. What are you doing out here? Waiting for Santa Claus. What do you think? We're here to do business. So, if you're not who we're waiting for, then I suggest you fuck off before I shove my gun so far up your ass that you start burping lead. Who are you waiting for? Not that it's any of your business, but we're waiting for some dudes who live up north. They've been buying up all the meat they can get their hands on. No clue why, but they pay good money, so I don't really care. Uh, maybe I want to buy your slaves. Yeah, and I don't want my boss to kick my ass. So, unless you're the dude from the pit, these slaves ain't for sale. Piss off! Instead of telling Ramsay the truth, that we're not from the pit, we have a couple of other options. We could say, who, me? No, I'm just here to kill you slaving bastards. Oh, is that so? Well then, kill away! In which case they all turn hostile and we have to kill them. 
Or we can convince this guy, either by passing a Black Widow or speech check, that we really do come from the pit, and we're here to buy the slaves. Well, that's how it is, huh? Well, right now I want you to be a customer. Usual price, 200 each. Boss says no trade, cash only. 600 for all three? All right, you got a deal. Finally! Here's the key to the gate. Do whatever you want with him. I couldn't care less. Oh, hey, Eulogy says to tell your man that we're sorry that we could only get three. We'll get a better roundup next time. Pleasure doing business with you. The raiders get their pay and run off. We can then open the gate and talk with the slaves. Or if you're like me and you don't want to finance slavery in the capital wasteland, we can just kill them. <laughs> Either way, upon opening the gate, a slave named Prosper runs up to us. Oh my god, are... You killed them! Are you real? You're here to save us? Where are we going? Now, we came here to get a slave outfit. Werner didn't seem to care about the fate of these slaves, so I suppose we could always take one off of this guy. But it would be a shame to send him out into the wasteland naked. We can say, you're free now, but I need your help dressing like a slave. Wait, we're free? You're serious? You killed them and we're just free to go? You're either the kindest person in the world or the dumbest. Either way, thank you. I can help you. It's the least I can do. What is it that you need? I need a set of slave clothes. Where can I get some? That guy over there on the mattress died last night. I never did get his name. If you don't mind the smell, you can just take his. Thanks. You be careful out there. We will. Thank you again, stranger. We owe you our lives. In which case we gain karma and the slaves run off to their freedom. We can then loot a slave costume from the dead slave on the mattress. Or we can say, I'm not taking you anywhere, but I need your clothes. Now. My clothes? Off my back? Well, I guess. You did help us. I'm sure... I'm sure I'll make do out there in the wastes. I... Don't worry about me. I'll find something, I'm sure. Take them, please. Take them. Good. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we will. Thank you again. You're very kind. In which case, we lose Karma and we get the slave's outfit. And strangely enough, he's better dressed in his underwear than when he had that skimpy slave outfit on. At any rate, regardless of how we decided to resolve this situation, we now have a slave costume on our inventory and Werner runs up to us. All right. You got a disguise. Good, good. We're ready to head out. I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You go get whatever you'll need for the trip. Ah! Where did you come from? I followed you. I've gotten very good at staying out of sight when I don't want to be seen. All right. I'll meet you over by the tunnel. Whatever you say, hero. Just don't take too long. We need to get started. This ain't a short trip. With that, we turn around and walk to a nearby train tunnel, where we find a maintenance door to the tunnel. Inside, we find Werner standing next to a hand car. Before we leave, Werner has one more thing to say. Before we go, there's one last thing. Oh, good. I love surprises. What is it? Relax, it's not about you. It's about your... companion. We only have enough supplies for two. He's gonna have to stay behind. Besides, we don't need a... Uh whatever he is tagging along with us. He'll only draw attention. What are you saying, Sharon? A ghoul in a full suit of outcast power armor is gonna stand out? Yeah, you might have a point there. If that's how it has to be, I understand. Yeah, I'm sure. You can hook up with him again when you get back. Now come on, let's get going. With that, Sharon and Dogmeat leave. To travel to the pit, we hop up and activate the handcar. This tunnel leads to a complicated network of tunnels and old highways that travel far to the northwest to the pit. The going will be rough and harsh, supplies will be scarce, and you won't be able to return until your business there is concluded. But we're sure we want to travel, so we proceed.
Many days later, we arrive at the pit. We see smoke pouring from smokestacks in the distance, and Werner gets nervous. Hang on, someone's coming. Let me do the talking. To the left, we see an old warehouse, with directions pointing left to the tunnel and right to the pit. Soon, a pit raider walks down the tracks to confront us. Hey, hey, what are you guys doing here? I might ask you the same thing. You got a lot of guts coming back to this place, Werner. Yeah? Well, I guess that's the difference between us. I have a lot of guts. You don't. Hey, attack! With that, Werner pulls out his pistol and starts shooting. So much for leaving the diplomacy to him. <laughs> Werner is bloodthirsty. He keeps shooting these corpses even after they're dead. When the raiders are all dead, Werner walks down the tracks towards a gate at the end of the rail yard. When we get close, he opens the door and stops. This is as far as I can go. It's up to you from here on out. If you dress up like a slave, you should be able to get past the gates without a problem. Once you're inside, find a slave named Medea. She'll be able to help you. Remember, your goal is to get access to Asher and find the cure. After you have it, I'll contact you. Are you sure I can't sneak a weapon in? Well, you might be able to get a small gun or a knife past them if you conceal it just right. I can do that for you, but I can't promise that they won't see it and just gun you down. You want the gun or the knife? Uh, I'll take the gun. Okay, here you go. Don't take it out until you get past the gate. You clear on what you need to do? Yeah, but I don't think I trust you. It's a bit too late for that now, isn't it? Oh, good point. Get in, find Medea, got it. That's it. Good luck. We're counting on you. There's something about this Werner guy. He's supposedly so concerned about his people enslaved in the pit. And yet when we said we were going to save those slaves back at the Capital Wasteland, he almost seemed annoyed by the prospect. He just wanted the outfit. Didn't really care what happened to the slaves. And the raiders treated him oddly upon arrival, almost like a peer and not like a slave. But he's right. We're here now. It's too late to go back. Heading down the road, we see a building to the left. Our perception tells us that there are some enemies there. And to the right, we see a huge ruined bridge. The sign over the bridge says, Welcome to the Pit. We have arrived at the city of Pittsburgh in the state of Pennsylvania. This bridge is called the Waybash Bridge. In our world, there was a Waybash Bridge built at this location, spanning the Monongahela River and connecting to Pittsburgh, but it was a railroad bridge. It was destroyed in 1946 by a fire and then demolished in 1948. The steel from the bridge was used to build the Dravosburg Bridge, but it was built at a different location. In our world, at this location, all the remains of the original bridge are two piers. But in the Fallout universe, the Waybash Bridge existed to serve vehicle traffic until it was demolished in the 20th century. It was then replaced in the 21st century by the new bridge we see today that was built as a replica of the 10th Street Bridge, which is a real-world bridge that exists in a different location in Pittsburgh. If it looks familiar to you, it should. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco was modeled after this one. That's right, this bridge came earlier, and the Golden Gate Bridge took inspiration from it. Before going across this bridge, we can explore the ruined shack to the left. We find that someone has built a series of scaffolding platforms in the ruins of this building, and inside we find a wild man sleeping. I was going to leave him alone, but after making too much noise, he woke up and attacked. These wild men must be the people whom Werner told us about. The people who have been driven crazy by the strange concoction of mutagens that are unique to the pit. More wild men pour from the ruins, but after a bit of work, we kill them all. Even though we arrived at Pittsburgh at night, the view of the city is breathtaking, if horrible. The river is so polluted we see toxins float up from it as small balls of poison. The carnage of this once great city creates an ominous skyline. Now that the ruins are cleared, we can try to go across the bridge. As we navigate between the cars, we find lots of fragmentation mines strewn all over the place. We can hop over a barricade to either side of the main road to try and go around the cars, but we see that this too is strewn with traps, 
bear traps, and fragmentation mines. The bridge is long, and I ended up disarming over 30 different mines and over 15 different bear traps. As we get close to the other side of the bridge, we get attacked by a sniper shooting at us from scaffolding at the top of the bridge. This raider will attack us even if we're wearing a slave outfit. Thankfully, we still have all of our equipment, so he was easy work. To loot him, we have to leap over to the opposite side of the bridge, where we disarm even more mines, and we find a ramp made from scaffolding that we can climb. At the top, we find an ammunition container filled with ammo, a few boxes of ammo on a table, and a meager store of supplies on a shelf. Here, we can rest if we want to regain some HP, and once done, we can head back down to the road. After crossing the bridge, we see a group of slaves try to run for their freedom. Fight off! But they die to the mines. This is a scripted event. Even if we've disarmed all of the mines, these guys will still die. We see spray paint on the walls pointing towards downtown, and as we get close, we see a large gate covered in barbed wire with armed guards and spotlights. As we get close, a raider walks up to the gate and opens it. It slides aside, and we now have two choices. Our first choice is, of course, to go in guns blazing. These are, after all, filthy slavers. What if we don't have the patience to deal with these chumps? We've got all of our weapons and armor. We can take them. After killing all of the raiders, we can open a gate to enter downtown. But as soon as we do... What? You thought you could kill my buddies at the gate and we just let you walk in here? On any other day, I'd just stake you out for the trucks. But Asher says to put you to work. And what the big man says goes. But it looks like we're going to get some good stuff out of it, eh? I'm going to find you and kill you. Good luck. Get up, boys! That's enough. Get her stuff. Come on, hurry. Hey, put that down. That's mine. Okay, got everything? Let's get out of here. The raiders knock us unconscious. As we come to our senses, we see a woman standing over us. Relax. They messed you up pretty bad. Take it easy. Don't move too quickly. Come on. Sit up now. What were you thinking, trying to shoot your way in here like that? That's not going to help anyone. I thought Werner said you were supposed to be clever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You're here now, and you look like one of us. So that's good. But we can't talk out in the open like this. Meet me in my house as soon as you get yourself together. We'll talk there. Alternatively, if we are wearing our slave disguise, we can talk with Mex, the raider who opened the gate. <laughs> I love it. Another slave wanted back here, huh? What's wrong? Couldn't get over the bridge? You're lucky I don't fucking paste you. Why, I should... Wait, what the... Now, would you look at this? Where'd you get all this shit anyway? Whatever. Mine now. Thanks, Scab. I hit the jackpot today. Now get back in there and get to work, or next time I'll just stake you out there for the drugs. He takes all of our equipment. Our weapons, our armor, even all of our aid. The only weapon we'll have left is either the knife or the revolver that Werner gives us if we ask him for one just before we walk towards the bridge. But if we forgot to ask, then we have nothing. If we choose this option, we save ourselves a beating, but Medea isn't here to wake us up. Instead, we need to track her down. Get in there and get the work, asshole. But at least now, we have successfully infiltrated the pit. But can we make it out, let alone complete our task? How can we save the slaves if we have become a slave ourselves? We will answer these questions when we follow up in part two of The Pit, which I will publish tomorrow morning. Welcome to my week-long series on The Pit DLC for Fallout 3. I'll be publishing a new video on this DLC for the rest of this weekend and all next week. We're gonna cover all of the characters, all of the new locations, every quest, perk, and of course, as always, all loot. 
the ending to this DLC is one of the most morally conflicting decisions we have to make in the Fallout universe, which is why I'm so excited to share this story with you. If you want to make sure that you don't miss every single episode in this series, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. But more importantly, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you all very much. Until then, have a great Saturday, and I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, with a brand new episode. Have it your way. Fucking talk, you piece of shit! Yeah.